I think one of the really exciting things is the increasing evidence that um, making having an intervention at any time makes a difference. So we know that education is incredibly important for making your brain resilient. But we now know, and we didn't used to know, that even in midlife, people without very much education can continue to do cognitively stimulating things and that can make a difference. So um, we, there are things that you can do at any stage of life. I, I would think about whether you have a personal risk factor. For example, do you drink more than the recommended amount? And that might be less than you would think. So you could just have a, a large glass of wine with your dinner every night and that was still too much. But think about which of these risk factors you have and I would try to tackle the ones that are easiest for you and then change your life in a way that you enjoy. Because if you, first of all, do a little at a time because changing everything at once doesn't work. And secondly, do it in a way that, that makes you happy because none of us continue to do things that we don't enjoy or very few of us, the odd person does. Uh, so that's my recommendation. Have a look at our really easy chart to look at and think which one of these applies to me. And some things you probably don't know. You don't know your blood pressure or your cholesterol. So if you don't know them, get them checked. Not urgently, but at some point so that you know them and keep doing. But other things you know, you know how much you drink, you know how much exercise you take. And if you're smoking, my advice is really simple. Like all doctors always say, stop. And uh, there are a variety of really good ways to help you stop.